A government program that discovered billions in improper Medicare payments is quietly put on hold. Matt Schuck explains. The Department of Health and Human Services believes that in 2014, Medicare paid out close to $50 billion in improper payments. To help locate these funds, the Recovery Audit Contractors, or RACs, were implemented. RACs are meant to incentivize auditors to locate improper payments and was successful in returning over $10 billion to the Medicare Trust Fund. But not long after it started, complaints from hospitals pushed the Obama administration to bring the program to a screeching halt. They have been actually recovering this money from hospitals predominantly. That's because so much of the money that Medicare spends is spent in hospitals. When recovery auditors began to succeed, well, you can only imagine uh, how that was received at the other end. So they have gone to members of Congress and they've gone to CMS and they've essentially sort of put the, put the program into a bit suspension. Leslie Page is the Vice President of Policy and Communications for Citizens Against Government Waste a government watchdog organization that specializes in federal spending. So if they're in suspension, what's stopping them essentially from coming back? But there's some members of Congress who don't particularly, um, are not happy with the program because their hospitals are complaining to them. Mm -hmm. You know, when a hospital, a big hospital in your district or your state comes in and says, these racks are killing me, that hurts their bottom line. So they've been complaining. There's a lot of complaints from the hospitals. What's it going to take? pressure from taxpayers. I mean, you've got to call your member of Congress, essentially, and say, put the racks back to work. Page goes on to say that 53% of Medicare claims are wrong. President Obama wants it at 10%. So while the federal government seems to be asleep at the wheel, this potentially effective government program continues to collect dust. Matt Schuck, One America News, Washington.